Hey guys, this is Shuman from ASA Technical. Today I am going to show you how to fix a laptop that turns on but display not coming issue. Are you tired with this issue? If you are constantly getting the laptop turns on but display not coming problem, then don't worry about it. There are some ways to detect what is possible reasons of this issue and to fix your problem. Well, let's get started. At first, you need to make sure that your laptop's AC adapter is working properly or not. If it's working properly, then fine. Yeah, as you can see that, in my case, my power AC adapter is working properly. Alright, let's go to the next step. Check the cooling fan during turn on the system. Note. If the system is cool and stable, then generally laptop cooling fan will not run. So, it's better to check your laptop's cooling fan as well pressing with the power button. Because at that time, generally the system is in inspection mode. That's why the cooling fan must be run for a few seconds. So carefully check that. If your laptop's cooling fan is run for a few seconds, then fine. Well, let's go to the next step. Now just press once the power button. Then you need to understand LED lights. Note. If your laptop LED makes once or twice short beeps before starting, then it means that BIOS setup was successful. But as you can see, here in my case displays nothing and here status shows that system indicator light is active. Alright, let's go to the next step. Check either a button above or around the laptop's LCD LED display or an function combo key to enable and disable the laptop's LCD LED display. If your laptop has this feature, then just press the button or function combo key to turn the laptop's display on. In my case, my laptop has now this kind of feature. Well, let's go to the next step. Now just turn on your mobile flashlight and look very carefully around your laptop's display. If you see any kind of fade logo or anything, it means that your laptop LCD LED display has backlight problem. In order to fix this issue, you need to change your laptop's screen. If you don't see anything, then fine. Alright, let's go to the next step. In order to fix this issue, you should have an external display to make sure that your laptop's LCD LED display is working properly or not. Now just connect your external display with your laptop by using a VGA or HDMI cable as you can see. Alright, now let me turn on my external display. Yeah, as you can see, also here displays nothing and same problem with this external display. And status shows here that no HDMI cable, it's mean that your laptop display is working properly. Well, let's go to the next step. Here you need to follow some steps. You first need to make sure that the laptop has no electrical power and is cool and stable. Next, unplug the AC adapter cable from laptop's electrical outlet. Disconnect any other cabling to the laptop, including an Ethernet cable. Next, turn off the computer by pressing and hold down the power button for at least 30 seconds. Next, turn the laptop's bottom side up. Now, remove the main battery. Note, if your laptop's battery is inside the laptop, then find a small pinhole at the bottom side of the laptop, as you can see. 
Insert a paper clip into the hole and gently press for 10 seconds to eject the battery and drain all residual power from the system. Now open the laptop's access panel to check the memory modules is working properly or not. Now let me tell you why. Usually this kind of problem is most often generated from the laptop's memory module. So let's check and confirm that laptop's memory modules are working properly or not. Alright, now gently slide the module out of its connector and just one by one out of the slot. And then take an eraser. Now listen very carefully. Just gently clean the RAM connector cartridges by following me. Note, only you have to clean your RAM connector cartridges and nothing else. And keep in mind that do everything very gently. After that, gently put the RAM card onto the empty RAM slot. And then gently press the RAM card equally with your two fingers as you can see. Alright, let's gently close the access panel. Next, reinstall the main battery. If your laptop's battery is inside the laptop, then just follow me. Next, turn the laptop's right side up. Then, reattach the AC adapter cable on your laptop's electrical outlet. Alright, now leave your laptop for 5 minutes. Do not do anything. After 5 minutes, just boot up your PC, as like first boot. You are done, as you can see. If not solved, then unplug the AC adapter cable from laptop's electrical outlet and turn off the laptop by pressing and hold down the power button for at least 30 seconds. 
After that, open the laptop's access panel to check the both memory modules one by one. After that, if your laptop's display is coming, then fine. Or if nothing, then it may be a very critical problem, which is very rarely generated from BIOS chip. Due to misconfigured BIOS, graphics card, processor, motherboard failure issue and even everything else. If this problem is due to a misconfigured BIOS, then here's a certain tutorial for you to clean CMOS to reset the BIOS. Just watch this video's second method, hopefully your problem will be solved. We hope you will like. Of course, let us know your opinion. If you have any questions, then please let us know. Please like, comment, share, we need your support. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.